This is a explicit podcast you have been warned Michael Worth. Hollow Deck Hype. Program complete. Enter when ready. Hi and welcome to Hollow Deck Hype. I'm your host Frank. And I'm Josh. And I think if um you know, if anyone's new and they don't really know kind of what we do or what this podcast is about. Um, it's a erotic fan fiction of the uh, ABC show Dinosaurs <laughs> and uh, people having sex with those creatures. Josh, do you have a comment on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I nailed it. Josh, if people disagree with what we're saying or if they want to write stories about the fan fiction of this podcast... Uh, how can they get a hold of us? Uh, well, our pod be or uh, wait, our podcast is hosted on Podbean, and uh, that's at holodeckhype.podbean.com. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash holodeckhype. We're also on Twitter at holodeckhype, and we also have an email holodeckhype at gmail dot com. What do you think about that, Frank? Uh, and always, uh, I want to persuade any of you to write comments, likes, um, and go all over to our YouTube page and, uh, type in holodeck hype or lay on the keyboard and maybe you'll get to it at some point you do. and like subscribe or comment on any of our, uh, podcasts that we have up there. I think how, how, how many do we have up there now? We went back about five maybe or four. Um, I think yeah, it's four. Four. I think it's four. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good thing know. that you've done for us for the podcast, Frank. I appreciate it. <laughs> no one else seems to, but <laughs> I definitely have been putting them up there. <laughs> I think they're going on a lot of deaf ears, but you know, I mean, they're it's up okay. there though. If you feel the need to look at our logo, <laughs> spinning, <sighs> transforming. Um, we are on, oh, by the way, this actually is a Star Trek podcast, but doesn't mean we actually talk about it. But anyway, we're on, uh, season three, episode 17 of Star Trek, the next generation sins of the father. Josh, did we speculate what this was? I don't think we did. did Mm, No, we kind of fall, fallen away from doing that at the end, but, um, I don't know what this has to do, but I think this is a, I, I'm not going to speculate anything sexual yet, but it has to do with war. I think it has to do with War's dead. Oh, House really? of Moog. Yeah, House of Moog. Oh, oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. I didn't know if it was going to be about Picard walking, walking in on his dad, jerking off in the shower. Yeah. Or, that would explain yeah. a lot, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would, especially if he fucking pulled back the curtain and it load shot him in the head. Oh, no, Frank. No. <laughs> And he uh, caught it. Is that uh, worse than like you, you coming on a, a younger self of you, like you have speculated? <laughs> <laughs> or I think, it... yeah, that would be way worse. So Look, your dad you... or you yourself comes on yourself. So that's if you worse. Pulled back the shower curtain and saw your dad masturbating in the shower. Yeah, and you caught a load on the face. I. I but at least know. your dad's real. Like, what if you've never seen an older self of you version of you? And then you saw a whole version of you, and then you accidentally get hit in the face with a load. <laughs> I don't know. That's a paradox, God. Yeah. That's what Inception should have been about in the movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Let's uh, let's get the shit show on the road. Oh, sin to the father. <laughs> don't jerk off in the shower. <laughs> sin to my father. Um. Yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> Go ahead. I started watching Commander Call on uh, El Rey Network today with Kevin Sorbo. Hey. Oh boy! Wow. Two thumb. Mm. Hey, two thumbs up, buddy. Really? Commander Call. What's it about? Give me a synopsis here. Okay, so I'm basing it on two thumbs up. Only have 25 minutes that I actually watch, but um, <laughs> okay. Tia right. Carrera is like a queen, a witch queen. And, like, she, like, marries him to become the king. And uh, uh, Terry Silver from Karate Kid 3, IMDb, is on it. <laughs> and, um... Karate Kid 3? Jesus. Wow. Yeah, Terry right. Silver. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I guess it's just a medieval weird thing. I don't know. It's two thumbs up. Mm. Go watch it. Yeah, I'd probably like it. 
I'll have to check it out. I've been watching the uh, Expanse. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. But Tony Todd just came onto the screen. It's Tony <laughs> Todd right there. All right, that ends my segment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you didn't want to ask me if it was good or not. <laughs> hey, like, the Expanse. Go ahead and talk about it, Frank. He, I got five, I got three minutes. You go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Let me stab up to the mic here real quick. Yeah, Let right. me get my time in. Get, get your soapbox your timer. timer. I got two minutes left now. <laughs> One fifty nine. One fifty eight. <laughs> it is a sci fi show, and think of uh, I want to say it's like Mass Effect meets Blade Runner. Ooh, well, uh, you got me on two things that I love. It's really good. I like it a lot. And it's I guess it's made by this uh author who won like basically the Pulitzer Prize of like sci fi. It's based on these crazy books and uh it's really good. I like it a lot. Um Is it on sci fi? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so it's a sci fi yeah. show. Any um and, uh, notable guy, actors it, or the the main guy is uh the guy from the first Punisher movie. Um Dolph Lundgren? No, no. Thomas Jane? Uh, Yes. Thomas Mm -hmm. Jane. Okay. Well, Frank, you're wrong about that. IMDb uh, will state that the first Punisher movie is the Dolph Lundgren one. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. God. Hey, (laughs) it's okay. People make mistakes, right? (laughs) And I made a dire one. (laughs) I know. About a Punisher movie? How dare you? Louis Gossett Jr. is in that first one. Fuck you. I'm sorry. God. (laughs) So who was the main star of punisher in the first one was it dolph, dolph Lundgren? Lundgren. he was the punisher really yeah Man, i don't know if i've seen that one version shut that. the fuck up i didn't know like i hey. there was no reference in my head for that one stop stop the oh. podcast get on your xbox and run it dude <laughs> get my shit together <laughs> god that, hey, my that's on that's that's hey, a dire mistake indeed buddy that's a good that's seriously it's an 80 it's a late 80s um oh see yeah no, it's super I it's like ultra violent which the punisher should be i mean obviously but yeah like right. um yeah dude it, it's worthwhile Louis casa jr's in it it's been a while since i've seen it and i don't remember okay. a lot about it but i guess what i'm gonna be watching it over this weekend yeah i should fucking get my life together and watch that yeah because it's like a, a rare a, hmm. it's a rare time actually the only time i've seen like dolph lundgren has jet black hair Oh geez, wow! And kind of like you know, weird. like a like a you know a five o'clock shadow all the time. It looks re- he looks really That's good. Bad. Yeah. That's awesome. How the Punisher should look. Yeah, think you should, buddy. He just got that stubble for when he's eating a girl out. Yeah, I know. Hey, another Dolph Lundgren movie that I watched was the newer Kindergarten Kindergarten Cop Two. I think it's good. <laughs> two thumbs up. Hey, two thumbs up on my oh, part. All right, I don't know if I trust you now. <laughs> hey, dude, Bill Bellamy's in that movie. <laughs> Who? IMDb. Is? Bill Bellamy. Oh boy! Wow! Really? Jeez! What's he been up to? I don't know. Like, dude, fucking like Dolph. You know, personally, no, nah, I don't know. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren's like sixty-five years old, and like he's like oh, yeah. he's like scoring like uh, in that movie, like like eighteen-year-old, like twenty-three-year-old teachers and shit, or like he's like hitting. Uh-huh. They like him, and you're just like, this is never happening. But he's, he, dude, he's just like um. He's a, he's aged the best at all. I mean, obviously he's not he's not like a superstar like Stallone or Schwarzenegger is. But man, for us us old he is. He looks super good. Like he doesn't oh, look yeah. as old as he is. He kept it together. Like I mean, he and the thing that I don't think most people know that he's like a fucking super genius too. It's crazy. It's like he didn't really need to be an action star. He's super smart. It's crazy. Really? I didn't. I didn't really know much. I don't really know much about <laughs> him past like his you know movies. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like he he really is like crazy smart. Like he could have been fucking someone in NASA or something. Like that's the level he's smart. It's crazy. Hey, hmm. If he dies, he dies. It's <laughs> <laughs> Rocky been- Four. <laughs> that's been some Dolph Lundgren quotes. <laughs> we should make we should make a Dolph Lundgren podcast. <laughs> oh God, Men at War, men, like Men at War or something. One of them. It's like oh God, Men of War been, thing. Oh, man. He's been in some scary movies though too. I think there was one called like a there was a shark movie. It's like a super B movie that he was in. Oh, it was really bad. Oh yeah, I'm sure he does anything right now. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't care. Fuck care. No. Why, Why would I, you? I mean, would you? Are you making a paycheck? Are you, oh you no, know? I mean. You never know what's going to hit, too, and, like, become a cult classic. Yeah, know? like, I never understood, like, people were like, oh, he's doing, like, when people, like, um, 
are like, man, that guy's fucking doing a voiceover or that guy's doing a fucking like ad. I'll be like, dude, like Shaq was talking about on one time. He was like, this is like, why wouldn't I do it? He's like, why wouldn't I spend like 15 minutes and they write me a check for a hundred grand? Yeah, exactly. Are you dumb? Yeah. He's like, you don't understand. He goes, I don't care about sold out. If you were in my position, you do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. I don't think it, it used to be worse. Like it used to be like a thought as, yeah, you're selling out. Like, you know, back in the 90s and stuff, it was basically like, oh, you're going to do a Pepsi commercial? How dare you? You know, and like there's a lot of like foreign like Japanese commercials with a lot of big actors that yeah. they do over there because they're going to get a ton of money. There's like Arnold Schwarzenegger ones and like, you know, Tom Cruise and shit like that, that uh, they profit a shit ton off of. Brad Pitt does a lot of commercials in Japanese. Yeah, I wouldn't, so. you wouldn't even, I mean, there wouldn't even be a hesitation in my, uh you know, in my my speech, like they'd be like, "Oh, you want to do this? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you get a paycheck. Like, oh, okay, it's free money. Like, <laughs> unless you're it's just not like, free. You I mean, know. you got to do something, but it's just oh, like, right, sure. But I mean, most of the time, to, most like, of the time, movie. I remember yeah. St- Stallone. I've never seen Stallone do like anything, but in the early or mid '90s, he did like a the voice of uh, like Buick. And really? that's the only uh, time I've ever heard him do anything. I think he caught a lot of shit for it. And I was like, why? I mean, I don't think a lot of people can actually, when somebody does just a voice of a commercial, a lot of people can't fucking, like, I hear it like, uh, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, John, C- John Cusack and like a lot of other people are in a lot of, they do a lot of uh, commercials and a lot of people don't notice that it's them. And I'm like, that's John Cusack. Mm, right. You know? Or, or, um, Sam Elliott. Yeah, sure. God, Coors Banquet Beer. Coors. <laughs> Coors. When you're stepping out. Wow. There's one thing. He does a fucking, and it's perfect for him. He does, like, Dodge trucks. He's like, yeah, Dodge, to be a truck. <laughs> I'm Sam Elliott. When you're at a red light and you decide to beat off Dodge truck. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes, right? Yeah. I'm just thinking about <laughs> Sam Elliott and, um, you got my Sam Elliott uh, juices flowing. Yeah, Roadhouse, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he should have had uh, some kicks in it, though, you know? Yeah, he kind of didn't do... He kind of just kind of punched, like, Swayze, yeah. obviously, was the one. Hey, rest in peace. Uh, was <laughs> oh, the one that didn't Here we it. go. Hey, God, pull over. Pull over, jerk <laughs> off. <laughs> we already know we what know. you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> we already know when you mention the Swayze, just get out. Just <laughs> let it go. <laughs> Because it's going to have to happen. It's a full release, no matter what. (laughs) Clean your dashboard and just be on your (laughs) way. Just keep going. If you stain your seats, it's okay. It was a Swayze stain. (laughs) You chalk it up to Swayze and you never look back. (laughs) You're like, this is a lot of stains on those seats. You'd be like, I listen to a lot of Holodeck hype. They talk about Swayze a lot. They'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) One. Holodeck what? (laughs) Yeah, Holodeck what? Oh, it's the show I listen to that has 10 average downloads. You You should listen to it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you listen to one? Oh, oh, you're not gonna ever listen to another one? That'd be, oh, hilarious. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be fucking hilarious. Is that somehow our show gets in, get gets into the conversation of someone selling their car? That's <laughs> all we need is one big name push. <laughs> God. Like you try to sell. Like let's say you're trying to like maybe like you're trying to. You know, I'll use this like uh, maybe you're trying to sell a, a, a like a car or a, a car is getting sold to you. No, you're trying to sell a car to like an old, like a washed up actor. I mean, I don't know who you're trying to. I mean, I can't right. really even put any out there, but you know, probably the guy Terry Silver from Karate Kid Three. Um, oh, all right, there you go. Yeah. Um, so let's say you're trying to sell your like old Chrysler 200 to him or something like that. Or Pat Morita. Hey, don't, <laughs> don't. He's not washed IMDb. up. Right? He's not, fair. He's not washed up. <laughs> So you're trying to sell your thing. You're trying to sell your like old Chrysler to him, and like he asks you like why the stains are there. And you'd be like, "Hey, it's because I listen to Holiday Kype a lot. They talk about Swayze." And then he's like, "What? What are you talking about?" <laughs> At the same time, <laughs> you should be jerking off. I just mentioned him. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> why aren't you? Di- why isn't your dick in your hand? He'd be like, "What are you talking about? Why aren't you jerking off?" <laughs> Hey, this ain't Dairy Queen. We don't do soft serve. We're talking about Swayze here. You need to get a hard show. God. Crazy, uh, dude. God. Let's, uh, let's brush up on your Buffalo Wild Wings fiasco. Oh, okay. 
So earlier we were talking about it and we had to uh, stop because it became too much of a good pod. Good pod, basically. So, um, and that happens a lot through, you know, various conversations we have or text. It's like, <laughs> hey, just just stop. Bring it, bring it to the podcast. I think we've lost. I think we forget most of them. To be honest with you. Yeah, but like, um, I, it does happen a lot though, to where it's just like, goddamn, just stop because <laughs> this is going to make for good entertainment. It, well, we think it does, but well, yeah. I mean, only ten people think that. But right. um, I had a big food day. A lot of food on top of food. And it had come to a culmination at Buffalo Wild Wings at like evening. You had so a pile on. Basically. Evening time, like 5 p.m. Mm-hmm. And it hit. And I was like, okay, you know what? I can do this. It's a, ba- it's a Buffalo Wild Wings, so I know the toy's going to have piss on it. Whatever. So, no, wait, 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 wait. Paint the picture. How how big is this bathroom? Like, what are we talking about? Okay, here? so a lot of Buffalo Wild Wings are different. Well, I mean, at least a lot of them that I've been in, unless they're the ones that are built like standalone. But this one was actually in like a strip mall. So this, this one was in a state full of meth. How about that? You mean Florida? Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Hey, I don't live there, so I can I say don't that. Live there either, so. Um, yeah. But so I was. So I was in Florida, right? So <laughs> it's kind of like a galley. So it's long, and they have like on the right side when you walk in. Oh, you mean AKA America's asshole, Florida? Yeah, I, I don't mind Florida though. Unfortunately, we'll get into that later. Just because of the the temperature, I don't mind Florida. Oh yeah, sure. So you walk into this, and there's just all all the like the the urinals are lined up to the right. And I walked in, I was like boom, boom, boom. You know, I wasn't looking because usually when you walk into a bathroom, you kind of keep your eyes to the floor because you don't want to you know make eye contact with a man. You know. In the right, you, scan, you scan like a Terminator, basically. Yeah, I mean, you kind of it's just uncomfortable to make eye contact in the bathroom. So oh, I, mean, yeah. I look up, I was like, focus. okay, there's only one fucking stall to shit. And I was like, that's unusual that you think they'd have two. But um, it said out of order on it. And dun, dun, dun. <laughs> the, pi- the, fucking, <laughs> the pile up of the food that I had all day. And I'm talking about heavy restaurant plates <laughs> of food that I had all day long. Yeah, you did a tour de force. Yeah. Like you, you <laughs> really spun yourself around hey, and went through. Like everybody out there, Perkins was involved in the morning. Just put that on for size, <laughs> Perkins. A big healthy breakfast, like a man sized <laughs> breakfast. You didn't eat like a you know like a piece of toast. No, I got. Hey, let's just put it this way. I get a three egg omelet, two biscuits, um, and hash browns. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Okay, so so I'm in the bathroom, and I'm like, guess what? And I thought about it. Obviously, the first thing that goes through my mind is I'm like, uh, maybe I can walk to another restaurant. I was like, nah, this has got to happen right now. So I walked into There's that. No I, I figured that that door is going to be locked, you know? Because oh, it's out of order, right? Yeah, but it wasn't. So I was like, hmm, okay, here it comes. I was like, I'm going to shit in this toilet. And no one's gonna know. Or like, I'm gonna have to leave it with, with uh, toilet paper, you know, after I wipe my ass. But I didn't notice that it was an auto flush. I just sat down because I had to go so bad. I sat down. Hey, Frank, I didn't lay anything down. I sat down right on that Whoa. toilet. Hey, it was coming, dude. Jesus, so I fucking this explode. Is, wait, I, hang on, hang on. Before we get too crazy, when you looked at that. Even when I've been like, oh my god, it's I'm gonna go. There's just no way I can do anything. You still put it down. I still have to put something down. This like looked like, and we'll get to it. Like this looked like it was Proceed. out of order, and it had been cleaned, and they uh, forgot. Okay. You know, like I had told you, like they had forgot. So like, I was I was looking at it, and I was like, there's water on the floor. Like they just mopped because probably it, it overflowed or something. Because some guy passed a fucking old bit, some 500 pound dude passed a whole chicken in here or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, so it looked like it had been just cleaned, and they just forgot to take that order out. So I pulled my pants down, sat right down on that fucking seat, dude, and it just it came out, exploded everywhere. And then I was like, I was like, I I, I usually in that type of situation, um, I'm a stand up wiper, um, but not at oh, home. You... Oh, okay, yeah. But I stood up to wipe, and then it fucking flushed, and it flushed fine. I was safe. I was safe. It wasn't out of yeah. order. Which is crazy, which which led me to ask you about how, how much velocity is coming out. <laughs> and then we also discussed 
what if we had a, you know like a speed gun to register how <laughs> fast you're shitting like how much velocity you know i just want get. to like be to like be a rich man and like not care about price and like when i build a house they're like okay so the bathroom and they'd be like everything's normal like the contractor's like and I and I don't talk to it because I don't talk to people as you know. So it's like in the, <laughs> right. like it's written so you on like a thing. little like uh, post-it note cards. Yeah. No, no, there's like a, it's a detail, dude. There's a detail of what he has to build in the bathroom. And they're like everything looks fine. It's like oh toilet, and they're like must install <laughs> specialty speed gun to register velocity <laughs> of liquids coming out of body. And they'd be like, wait, what is what is this? Hang on, <laughs> <laughs> what, if it, what if it registered and like came on the TV on the living room and if anyone was watching anything it just cut away and just put a speed on the front of the, the, front of the screen so like you have like, a part did my favorite is like you have a party and somebody goes to the bathroom and it just shows up everywhere all over your house it just shows up <laughs> 34 miles per hour <laughs> and he's looking at the the plans he's like whoa here there's a pizza oven in the bathroom <laughs> wait what a, wait a pizza oven built into the wall with real fire? <laughs> you want us to build a snacky? What's the snacky? What, what is the snacky you're talking about? <laughs> you're like, hey, I want to be able to fix it. No, I don't say anything. I, they call me, oh. and I just put a flashcard and be like, do what it says in the paper. That's all it says. <laughs> and you just fart in his face and walk <laughs> away. God. I'm not rude, Frank. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. <laughs> just like hijacking everyone's entertainment there's like a huge party just like anyone who's in there doesn't know what's going on i know but then it like pumps in it pumps in the miles per hour like really loud into the into the (laughs) bathroom where you're in you know so you know like you get scared by it you're like 54 miles an hour and you're like fuck what (laughs) (laughs) so you think there should be like a surround sound mic hooked up too to, where, to like, hear it? To yeah, okay. Shit. We're going to already do the speed camera. Might as well hear it and video camera. So, <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, click here to turn on. <laughs> no, like, I just like, I, I. it's like, yeah, I mean, you just like have your house wired up. So like, even if your TV's turned off, it turns on immediately and shows you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 34 miles per hour. <laughs> You just hear it throughout your house. Jesus. No one would come over. <laughs> They'd be so... Well, it registers P, too. So, like, any type of thing that's... Co- a trajectory that's coming into the toilet, it measures mm. it. God. So, anything, you'd, dude. You'd be tempted to see how fast, like, your load's shooting, you know? Well, I mean, I could do that. I mean, if... Uh, okay, scenario that I have, I already have enough money, so I probably already know that information. <laughs> because if I have a lot of money, <laughs> hey... The velocity of which my cum comes out of my dick is going to be one of the first things I do. Right. Sure. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Yeah. Wait. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, that's, that's been like, done, Frank. It's like number one on millionaires like list, isn't it? Like <laughs> you get you win a lot, you win the lottery in the state. You like you get the news comes up to you and be like, "What are you going to do first? Yeah. Well, first I'm going to get this thing where I can v- register the velocity of the cum coming out of my penis. See you later." <laughs> I just want to know for no one's sake. <laughs> and then I'd look straight at the person's like, even if it was a girl or a guy, it doesn't matter. I'd look at him and be like, when do you want to know too? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I won the lottery, obviously. <laughs> it's the only reason why I play this game every week. <laughs> Wait, no, they interview you and you just hold up flashcards because <laughs> you can't talk. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Forgot my ailment. I've I've heard like if you... One of the things they said, like, if you win the lottery, you should just fucking delete all your social media. Oh, yeah. You should delete all your social media. You should delete, like, a financial advisor. No, you immediately, I mean, if, yeah, if you don't have an accountant and a financial advisor, I mean, sometimes they're wrapped in one, but not often. I mean, usually accountants are pretty strict and stern, but a financial advisor, you'd have both. You immediately go ahead and hire both. I mean, yeah. And like, then you like uh, you can quit your job, but like you shouldn't quit your job until you figure out that maybe you're gonna make money off that money. Yeah, yeah. right, sure. Or if you know, you know you're not gonna do like Well, I mean a person expenses. like me, like I know like it depends on the amount, but if it's a decent amount, I know I'm going to make money off that money, so I'm just going to... I would quit. I'd be like... Oh. Right. I would quit, too, because I know I'm now I'm not like... Someone's going to spend on, like, lavish gifts and shit. I'd probably buy a nice car. I'd buy... if it Depending on the money, obviously. Like, if it was quite a right. few million dollars, like 50 million, like, obviously, I'd probably buy a nice car. 
but it wouldn't be a million dollar car. It'd be like I probably buy BMW. You know? No, I would. I would. You know, I'd definitely get a Porsche. I've I've always wanted one. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not um, thinking of Porsches, but I, 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 dude, I'd probably buy a Ford Focus. I just buy a brand new Ford Focus. <laughs> oh, the European model. Get the crazy, like the, fucking uh, souped up one. Uh, I mean, they had it on like, the, the they had it on the Grand Tour where like those guys were. They had the newest like Mustang with the V8 and the nice one GT, you know, fully loaded, and then they had their version of the RS Focus. It got yeah. way better lap time. Oh yeah, because it's such a little car. That's why. Yeah, I mean, and it turns way better. And they were even in there doing their video, and they're like, "Wow, this is so great!" But then at the end, they're like, "Which would you rather have?" And they were all like, "The Mustang." And then they're, and I was just like, "Why?" Just because it. I don't think it looks better. I honestly think the hatch looks cooler. I don't know. Yeah, I I like the way they look, but some people don't like. Yeah, I do. I mean, it's the best. It's one of the best cars I've had. I mean, I I think my tr- I like my truck better, but it's completely different. It, the truck versus car, you know. Right, yeah, sure. I mean, you always get that debate. It's like you're going to be able to see over everything. And, yeah, but you know, no Focus, one can... driving around in these in these mountains, dude, it's fucking fun, man. No one can see you like fingering your girlfriend in a, in a truck, you know, you're at a stoplight. Correct. You know, or getting head at a stoplight. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> I like wow. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been justified in anything I've said. God justified, <laughs> Timothy Olfont. What? <laughs> Which he's in the new uh, Netflix show. I know uh, Drew my, Barrymore. Yeah, my girlfriend's watching it right now. I think as we speak. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, she was watching yeah. it right before we got on. Right before we got on to record, it looks like, kind of. I when I was watching it, I was like, looks pretty. It 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 seems like it's really dumb, but with. I don't really like Drew Barrymore, but she's got presence, yeah. and Tim obviously Tim yeah, Olfett definitely yeah. does. Sure. And like, I was just like, I could get into it, but it seems pretty fucking dumb. Yeah, I think it's about like a cannibal diet or yeah, something. Yeah, like it's weird. Like she's like, she's like, I don't know, she's just eating feet and shit. <laughs> eating feet and shit. <laughs> I just that's the only scene that I saw. They were like in like a the car and like Timothy Olfan was like they had they like paid like the fucking morgue guy to fucking corner which if you remember right we're really big in the corner market but um oh yeah that's right yeah <laughs> but like a, that market <laughs> he, she has like a human foot and she just starts eating it in the car yeah you know, and that's weird. it that's all I saw that's weird mm. so I mean who knows like I'll get <laughs> yeah. updates from the from I don't the know I might watch things. one and you know that's that's a good thing about Netflix is like hey Let's just watch one and decide if it's decent. I'll, I'll keep going. I still only watch that Frontier show, though. Yeah, I, I honestly would say watch The Expanse. You'll you'll yeah, like that maybe more. I'll do that first. That's on Netflix too. Um, no, it's just on Sci Fi Channel. I don't know if it's on any streaming uh, thing or. Not. It might be on Sling. It might be on like on demand. Sling. Well, the first season's done, so it's probably definitely the second season just started, which uh, I haven't seen. Any then, of that, then I but, might have a problem. I might have to if I have to buy it, dude. I'm probably I don't know. We'll see. It's really good. I, I like it a lot, actually. Like it's one of the best sci fi shows I've seen in a while. Like you know, there's not very many. So that's true. You know that uh, good Sh- one, Shinar you know? Chronicles got uh done for the sec or I think it's like got approved for the second season. I think it's almost done. Yeah, yeah, I knew they were filming it or something because I saw something about it on Facebook. But hey, you want to talk about this episode now? No, there's no but, reason to. <laughs> but I, I do want to keep noting that Tony Todd's in this one, so we probably shouldn't. You know. Now, what do we know Tony Todd from? Um, f- what do you mean Tony Todd? You just said Tony Todd's in this episode, right? Yeah, Tony Todd. We're looking at him right now. Right, Not that what do, guy. Yeah. What What do we know from? Fucking Candyman. <laughs> I'm just saying, let these people know. What we know. The final de- final destination. Remember, he's a guy like you see. Like it doesn't. A lot even, of like, people are to... listening to this in their car on the way to work, and they're like, "Tony, who is he?" Wait. Like, they no okay. Idea. Well, one, if you're listening to this, and you don't know who Tony Todd is. Reexamine your life. Um... Sure. I, or wreck your car. Hey, <laughs> Night of the Living Dead remake. Remember that? He's a star oh. of that. That was a big right. thing with um, oh because yeah, because he was black. That was a big deal. Really, at the time. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh no, wasn't the original guy black? Yeah, that's yeah. What I thought. Okay. Yeah. Then what was I thinking about when they changed it? Well, almost it happens all the time now when they change the fucking race of the person. They get 
fucking upset. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they ha- no. It, I guess I was just listening to this other podcast where it, they were doing Daredevil, and they made uh, God. God rest his peace, uh, Clark, My- Michael Duncan Clark, the Kingpin. Oh and he yeah, was black, and that was a big yeah. deal. Like, oh wait, he's not supposed to be black. He's a white. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. That's so <laughs> dumb. Who really cares? It's just a fucking fictional character. Like, I know it's a fictional character. That. Like, when it when it's deep rooted in the fact that the race of the person is because maybe they grew up with this prop that, you know, they become a character because of their race, like, you know, the stuff that affects them, then, yeah, I can yeah. get it. Like, okay, that person's supposed to be white. That person's supposed to be black. But other than that, <laughs> fictional yeah. character, it's a fuck. I honestly, like, am, and, you know, you're probably not invested in this, but the, the uh, Green Lantern movie, I was almost, like, really disappointed that it wasn't the black version. It's, yeah, it's Lantern. supposed to be a black guy, right? I mean, I don't well, know. Well, no, the very first one wasn't, but Tony Stewart is the the black guy and like it sh- I mean, for me like I grew up with the animated series like kind of thing and it <laughs> okay. was always that. So like gotcha. I always thought like it should have just been him like in my well, mind. Was it, was like, Ryan, oh. Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds was it? Ryan right? Reynolds, yeah. yeah. I I mean I I haven't seen that movie that but I know I know that like uh, isn't uh What's his name? Skip, or Stellan Skarsgård is the bad guy. Yeah, Stellan Skarsgård. Yeah, it's not it's not horrible, but I think Blake Lively great. is is uh, in there, and that's where he met her, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Uh yeah, I Blake think she Lively. is. Yeah, it's not it's not horrible, but it's not like great. Yeah, it's not uh, Deadpool. Oh, it's not know. Deadpool. I mean, I I like Ryan Reynolds, but like I I, I guess maybe I didn't even know. I always thought that uh, the Green Lantern was a was a black character. No, uh, uh, the, okay. the very original first well, was one not. wasn't. But okay. yeah. Well, I mean that makes sense because uh, all comics probably never had any black people in it because it was written in the forties and everybody was <laughs> right, racist yeah, as shit. True. Yeah, <laughs> and it's fucking horrible. But well, at least Captain America was made to kill Hitler. So <laughs> no, that's another one that I want to watch. Is like uh, those Captain America movies aren't that fucking bad, man. Like no, they're um, really good. Like really the first good. one, like with uh, the Red Skull dude, that's uh, played by um, Hugo Weaving. That's fucking good, dude. Yeah, it's good. The second one's the best one, though. Is that like, the Winter Soldier? Uh, yeah, that one's like a fucking James Bond movie. I think it's really pretty good, good, but I think I like the fucking the Hugo the first Weaving one, the Red, Red Skull because the Red Skull's yeah. Hugo Weaving. I love Hugo yeah. Weaving. I don't understand why they didn't bring him back. Like, it should have been. That was, like, ma- his main villain. But I guess the maybe they goal. just didn't want to overexpose Well, it, there's, but... like, a 1980s version that was done in Italy. If you you probably <laughs> don't know about it, Captain America. Oh, fucking A, huh? Yeah, but there's, there's and it's, a red, it's obviously him versus Red Skull, but I don't even know the characters that are in it. I mean. It's like the Italian Spider-Man. Have you ever seen that on YouTube? No, I have not. <laughs> you need to look it up. Anyone listening, type in. Alternatively, Spider Man. You can just type in Hercules in New York. I have that on DVD. So. <laughs> God, do you? you have it on? <laughs> yes, I do. You have that on physical media. Yes, I do. <laughs> I have bought and purchased that. Hey, the next <laughs> time I see you, I'm gonna shake your hand for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that for fucking like probably 15 years. <laughs> God, that's when he's just like out. straight. He just came straight from the gym to. Oh, he's that. so dubbed in it. It's insane. Like, <laughs> he just can't. Yeah, he can't even speak. Oh my god, he's he just can't like, speak at all. He's just like picking up cars and shit. Oh god, dude! And there's he fights a bear in it, and the bear is fucking a guy in just like a fucking. Oh, of course like, it is. For a costume, a it's so ridiculous, dude. So ridiculous. I haven't seen that. <laughs> fucking probably 15 years oh man i wish i would have known you wanted to see it last time you were here we could have watched it god you would have put that on my i I literally would have seen my brain come out of my head dude (laughs) because pretzy's in it dude the little guy that's like with him i don't even know what you're talking about right now (laughs) (laughs) oh boy and they ride in a carriage oh my god that's amazing (laughs) lou ferregno's in it too oh hey you speak of my language, man. I used to watch those like uh, World's Strongest Man back in the day when they used to do it. Yeah. When like not like the, I mean, and the World's Strongest Man things are great and they're amazing. But back yeah, when like still- the guy Mister Universes kind of did it, it was kind of less of a thing. 
And I just remember like Franco Harris was there and Lou Ferrigno and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And they had this thing where you like, you kind of like grip and you're like pull just by your grip, you like rotate it and it pulls up like who knows, 6 million pounds, whatever they were doing. Yeah. And I just remember like Lou Ferrigno's hands got all like bloody and he kept doing it. You could just see the blood. It's like the seventies and you could see the blood coming out of his like, uh, off the, like the little grips that he had and he just kept doing it. And then they showed his hands and his hands were just like fucking red as shit. Just ripped <laughs> up. God, Lou, he doesn't <laughs> stop, dude. He oh doesn't... God. The only, like, I don't, I'm not really that big of a Kevin James fan. Yeah, but I watched yeah. that King, you know, that King of Queens. You know that I love that show because oh, yeah. of Which I still have your box set. By the yeah, way. <laughs> watch it. I'm not really big into Kevin James. I actually don't like him at all, to be honest with you. But mm-hmm. the, his cast of characters that are around him, uh, Patton Oswalt, right? Um, okay, and he Patton Oswalt's barely in a. I mean, Lou Ferrigno is this next door neighbor dude. <laughs> yeah. There's one where he gets obsessed with playing a vi- playing video games. Lou Ferrigno does. You see his you see Lou's big fucking hands on a little controller, dude. Good and then hey, Jerry Stiller, dude. Oh yeah. And Lee Remney's well. pretty good. She's she's pretty good. I I don't really I really like that she has her new Scientology show. I really actually like that. Um, Did you listen to her on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast? No, she knew. Is it a new one? Yeah, she was on there talking about that show and stuff. It was interesting. I mean, yeah, talking about more Hindu Scientology. I don't, I don't follow him so much because a lot of his stuff is about UFC, and I could care fucking less. But uh, some of it is. Some I know it's, it's like not, a half like, and half, so I kind of have to like get on there every week and like look and be like, oh, it's somebody not in UFC. Oh, it's yeah. a comedian. Oh, okay. He's had he's had on uh, Maynard a lot from Tool and. Um, yeah, I know he he does about. I mean, it's more than half. You're right; it's more than half and half. But a lot of the comedian right. um, comedians that he has on, I could care less mm-hmm. too. So like, I have oh, to really? just like find them, and I like I'll find the ones that I like, and I download them to my phone, and I listen to those. Like I like Henry Rollins, like we were talking about. And then right. the last one before that was must have been uh, James Hetfield that I listened to. Right. Do you think we'll ever have any uh, special guest on here? Um, my wish is that maybe we could get somebody that was maybe an extra. Right. In what? Like in in what? Like a movie or like a TV no, like, show? Like a next generation. Like maybe we can get an extra from next generation. <laughs> oh boy, we might have to pay him though. <laughs> I mean, I'd pay him a couple this. hundred bucks. An extra from next generation. If they're not doing anything currently, I think a hundred dollars will fucking they'll they'll do it. I uh, you know I think at the same time they're going to stop and pause and be like all right I'm going to listen to a couple previous episodes listen to 15 <laughs> seconds they're like yeah no I'm not doing this <laughs> yeah next day email hey I'm not feeling too good <laughs> sorry about this, uh... I have a stomach bug and went to a Mexican restaurant last night and they didn't cook my chicken <laughs> yeah I uh, I think I'm going to be on the toilet like a lot of the podcasts that I heard before. Mentioned. No, they just need to say they went to the Outback, and I'll be like, "This, you're excused. <laughs> Your pardon." <laughs> Anybody that says they go to the Outback could be like, "You're not going to work tomorrow. <laughs> See you later." <laughs> yeah, you're, you're ending up in a dumpster. <laughs> I don't know how people eat there, man. And the prices on that food for what you get, no way, yeah. dude. The only thing I really like from there is their hamburger. <laughs> and I've never had. I always get like a steak, obviously, or prime rib. Yeah, no, I, I don't know if I've ever had that there. Actually, yeah, I've only gotten their hamburgers, which are really good. Hmm. That's but I haven't been there in years, so I mean, yeah, I don't, don't. think we got a gift card from it. And after my <laughs> fucking, we we got a gift card. I think I didn't have diarrhea from it the last time, but then like the time before, obviously, was the the noted all night lobster fiasco, as I call. Where you're like, where you're literally. Oh, you mean shaking. Lobster Gate? I remember Lobster, <laughs> lobster Gate. <laughs> I think I was texting you. It was many years ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was Lobster Gate, dude. And that's when I had it those was... seats in that shower, and I would just sit down in the shower because my fucking butt was so burnt. It was burnt. This, the ring was so hot, dude. So hot. <laughs> Is that when we decided you should tape brushes to the bottom of the seat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember we did talk about that. Yeah, where you, you could put, skid across. To, <laughs> clean up your ass. You like kind of like, you know, like a car wash, basically. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> on your asshole. <laughs> I mean, you could go to, I, I would rather have like a jet, like a touchless car wash where you have just like a jet that'll spray up your ass. Yeah, sure. Like a bidet, like, like a high hoppy, powered. Yeah. Like a hot velocity. I don't know, but I just, um, 
yeah, dude, I don't know what happened. I don't know what was wrong with what I ate, but I literally, when I got home from that, it was just like immediately hit me. And usually you have diarrhea and then, you know, you have a touch of it and it goes away. This was literally yeah. all night long. I was shaking. I was hot, but I was cold. I was sweating. I was in the shower. I took like six showers. And then there was one time when I was literally in the shower after I'd shit again for the millionth time. And I was just like this. I don't think I'm going to go to the bed. I don't think I'm going to go to the toilet. I think I'm just going to let it go in the shower. Because then you know it's not going to be <laughs> solid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't though, but. There was a, yeah. There was a fine line there where I was about to shit in the shower. Right, you had a thought process. <laughs> That's when you need a mirror in the shower, though, to see like what you become, like the animal. I would, just, I would just open my butthole to see how red that thing is, dude. Like like a little marker too, like to write on the mirror and be like, <laughs> Lobster Gate. <laughs> Lobster Gate. <laughs> two three two thousand thirteen. <laughs> It might, I think it was like 2011 to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. you need to look at yourself. Like it's 2010, take a, maybe. Take a look at me now. That was the wor- I think that was the worst I've ever had. Like obviously, we talk about the the Indian, mm. the Indian places by you that I've had. Yeah, that, but, that I don't know. That's that shower sweats. Yeah, it's but like this oof. this 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 uh. Lobster this outing, gate. this lobster gate was the worst. Like I went, I, I took uh, one of our vendors, like to like a dinner and I was like highfalutin and I figured I'd pay for it so I was like you know what add a fucking lobster tilt to my fucking filet I don't care if it's $50 for fucking Outback I'm paying $50 for Outback being a dumbass <laughs> right you should have known better <laughs> drank a shit ton of beers and stuff and like and I paid for everybody and then I immediately when I get home it's just like <laughs> you made a slip and slide. That's when you should have the speed reader. Oh, God. that was hey, Lobster Gate was like prime. <laughs> I would win records, dude. Imagine if it turned into like a fucking Guinness World Record, dude. How fast you can shit out of your ass. I don't know. I'm kind of uh, wondering if we shouldn't look that up, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't think it is because I don't think anybody has like. I mean, obviously you can trick with the you know speed you know speed recording speed film. gun yeah i mean mm-hmm. well not even a speed gun you could do it with a camera just knowing you know the frames per second you could see how it moves <laughs> Maybe mathematically it's not a hard process so you would uh, know watch rewatching that though it's pretty painful i'd rather have a speed gun <laughs> like... well, i don't think a speed i think a speed gun and if you're gonna if you're gonna shoot out of your ass that fast it's gonna be liquid yeah, Obviously. Right. So I don't know how a speed gun, I don't know how radar technology works. Yeah, I don't either. So, I mean, obviously with a camera, with, you know, lapse time camera, you can figure out this velocity as which the um, said uh, excrement is uh, flying out of your anus, if you will. It's got, it's got turned into Bill Nye the Science guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, yeah, with the radar, I don't know how radar, I mean, I mean, obviously radar works in a sense that it senses something and it sends back a signal and you, then you right. know, it constantly tells you, you know, the distance. But, I, I mean, okay. I guess that works, but I don't know <laughs> if it can do it with, like, a liquid. Does it need, like, a solid? I don't know. But. Too, like, you know, you have to wonder what the pressure. Could you have maybe made enough electricity for, like, a small country? With the amount of Not force. a small country, but maybe like power my microwave for half a minute. <laughs> oh, power my air fryer from shitting. So I just it's a it's like a it's a constant. It's a circle of life, like in uh, Wow Lion King. This is blowing my mind. <laughs> you could literally set your house up to run off your shits. <laughs> run my shit off my fucking the velocity of which the shit comes out of my ass, so I can eat more air fried food to continue shitting at a velocity <laughs> circle. Wow. <laughs> You are the Lion King. <laughs> Dude. What's You're the circle Sim- of life. Simba. Simba. <laughs> wow. <laughs> name of this episode, You Are the hey, Lion dude. King. Hey, dude. Hey, IMDb, James Earl Jones is his, uh, oh, his dad. Yeah. And then guess, guess who plays like... Now I, I'm drawing a blank on the actual... Scar. His name's Scar. The, the bad lion. Yeah, yeah, guess yeah. Guess who does that? Jeremy fucking Irons. IMDb. Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, it all comes around. <laughs> I used to um, do drugs and watch that movie. Let's put it that way. Lion King? Really? It's a good um, non... Drug movie? <laughs> it's a good drug movie, not the drug you're thinking about. A little bit of a harder drug. Wow. 
Mm. Let's just put it this way. Acid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you gave that away. <laughs> I think I, yeah, I think it's either acid or mushrooms. It's a good acid or mushrooms. Uh, mm. movie. Yeah, I could see mushrooms, but who has it? I don't know. Wow. Not that I've done any of those. Me either. <laughs> just for the record. <laughs> Allegedly, I've done them. Yeah, allegedly. Allegedly, that's why yeah, I know why I things could wash it with it. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Yeah. Can't prove anything. Uh, I'm trying to think of the... What's the name of the uh, Oliver Stone movie with uh, Woody Harrelson? Um, I can't think of it. With Woody Harrelson? Yeah. Oh, the... the uh, what is it? The Hustler guy? No. Um, Who killed... Or, it, the people like versus Larry psych- Flint? No, real psychedelic one. Um, oh, natural born killers. Natural born killers. God, yeah. I couldn't think of the Julia name Lewis. Of it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, movie. that's that's it's a really movie. good. I I allegedly have taken ass. I think it was that, mad. the way, especially that when he goes to the desert and he's in like the sweat lodge. I think it was yeah. meant to be done. That it was meant that, to be done with like his snakes all around. I think it was mm-hmm. meant to be done that way. I think the whole movie. You're, it's probably meant to be. Yes. Well, I I did that, and it got interrupted. Allegedly, my, did that. my allegedly I did that, and uh, my parents came home allegedly, and <laughs> <laughs> and it got like really weird because I was so in tune and freaked out by the whole by the movie, like situation yeah. of that movie, you know, allegedly. <laughs> that uh, yeah, it didn't it didn't make for a great time, but while I was watching it, yeah, I was truly invested, allegedly. Yeah, it is a really it's that that's a really good movie. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time. Me either, me either. It's um, been over ten years. Yeah. God, I, I IMDb that. fucking Rodney Dangerfield's the sick molesting uh dad in that movie. Remember that? Oh really? Wow. Molesting he's molesting Jeez. Juliet Lewis. And they kinda make like a weird oh, like oh, yeah. remember yeah, they make right. and that's why that movie's so fucked up is that Oh it's weird as fuck. They yeah. make like a kinda like a sitcom of him and he's like touching her ass and stuff and it's about <laughs> the family, but like oh, oh, oh like touch your ass, go get yourself, oh, go get yourself a pair of titties, I think he says to her. Yeah. You know? And uh Yeah, it's it's fucking weird, man. But it's it's good. It's really good. She has a band and I've never listened to it. I, no, I, I, I really to. like her. I think she's really cool. She's really weird, yeah. but her band, I don't I don't know. Like, She's a singer, too. I'm not really sure. I don't know I think anything about really that. that's really all she but... does anymore is just her band. Really? Yeah, I don't know anything about that, but I, I think she's been good in what she's been in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cape Fear. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> hey, dude, uh, you, hey, you got Robert De Niro and fucking Nick Nolte, dude. Counselor, two champions. God, when he's doing, he's doing those little fucking like pull ups, little dips, dude. Yeah, pull those ups. pull ups and dips and that fucking those... prison cell, dude, and all those he's tattoos, those, tats, those back tats. God, that's hey, a roadmap. We officially have not watched this episode. It's about over. No, oh, no. This hey, this, this might is... be the the hot, the worst one we've ever but done. But this is like the one of the better app. Ep- one of the better next generation episodes. Right. This is yeah. when I was looking at it event like every now and then. Because this is when uh Worf um finds out that his dad was like a uh, like it, well no, this is when he it's finds called it. Sins of the Father, he finds out that he's not his dad was uh, he was right and he yeah. he's like an honorable person, but he takes the fall for his brother. Right. Tony yeah. aka right. Tony Todd. Yeah. And um yeah, he takes a fall for his brother, and like then he, I, and then like I think season five maybe they go back and revisit it, and he become like his family, his house family, his name becomes okay again, you know. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Like they clear him of all yeah, of it. Yeah, like, that's a two parter when they clear it, if I remember right. It, later on, in like the later on seasons, they have a lot of two parters. Yeah, they do. Like, they can't. It's almost like a movie, really. I mean, like, really, it is. If you take off the commercials, it's an hour yeah. and fucking 40 minutes, you know? Yeah. I mean, you're Star almost Trek. watching, like, a, a full blown movie. <laughs> like, like that's the way, movies. like, um, most of the time when people talk about, like, Star Trek Insurrection, they're like, why was it a motion picture that probably was better off to be a two parter? Yeah. That's my only missing link. Well, in me, actually. And maybe, you know, Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, 
I don't like that one. But yeah. when it comes to all the movies, I like Nemesis. Most people don't like Nemesis. Oh, Nemesis is good. Yeah, I like it. Um, oh, really? I didn't really know people didn't like Nemesis. Well, eh, it's not yeah. liked. Hmm. But uh, Insurrection was one of those ones where it's like, man, this isn't really a movie. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Could have just been an episode. Yeah, a two-part you know? episode, you know? Yeah. Right, sure. But I mean, Which, still good. I mean, I still they come out with like it. multiple sets where they've just like singled out like two parter episodes and and you know put them out has been like, well, hey, here are the some of the best episodes. Like really weird shit. That was the best. The best two parter was the one that split up. Was it four and five or is it five and six? I think it's four and five, where it might be even three and four. I don't know where it split up the season where. He turns around, like the board come and yeah. they get him. Right. He turns he around, the board, yeah, sure. and he becomes Lacutus, you know, where yeah. they get Picard, and then it's like I'm Lacutus of Borg, and then they end the fucking season. And if you're a Star Trek fan in 19 fucking 92 or whatever, you're like, oh my god, he's a fucking Borg. I got to wait a year for this. Yeah, you know, so. it was it was a lot to handle. Sure, fuck Game of Thrones, dude. That's suspe- hey dude that's suspense dude that's suspense <laughs> that is god take your pants off uh, they're already We're, off. next next one is uh allegiance which is the next one i don't remember what it's about um, i think it's about like he makes you put, pledge allegiance to picard and if not <laughs> he put he pours salt in your eye he pulls back your eyelids and more salt in your eyes no i imagine he makes like a tiny little slits on your clit and throws lem- squirts lemons on it. <laughs> so. God, dude, that's like a slug dying, dude. If you ever poured, sl- <laughs> I've poured salt on a slug, it just dies. Oh yeah, Alle- hey, that. allegedly, I never did that. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I'm not Jeff Dahmer. Allegedly. God, God, Jesus. <laughs> I think uh, killing insects. Well. I think killing insects is. Oh, well, obviously, everybody kills insects every day of their life. But when mm. you actually like. And I still, I don't like killing, I, like, anymore. If I see a spider, I'll put it outside. Yeah, depends on how big they are. Like, yeah. if, they're, if they're really causing a nuisance or biting you, like... Well, yeah, you know. I mean, obviously. I mean, there's there's certain... But, yeah, like, insects, I don't even kill them anymore, man. I like a know. wolf spider, like, I'll, I'll fucking... That thing can go away. You'll step on it. it. I don't want it in my life. That's yeah. okay, sure. like, but, like, I feel like when you start, like... I kill as a child killing stuff that has like a, you know, that I don't know, like a mammal. If you kill a mammal, you're like yourself, obviously. But people kill mammals all the time because we eat them. Like right. there's all this weird things. But if you kill it in cold blood, like, and you just want to kill it, that's your problem. You yeah, know? you're almost like a cat. Just want to <laughs> kill shit. Hey, dude, bad at it and I, run away. I like cats. Well, they, they're the only mammals that kill for for sport. Eh. They they literally will kill a bird or something that they see. You just be like, oh. we had a cat. We had a cat, and it would if it got outside, it'd fucking line up fucking chipmunks and shit on our driveway when I was a kid. And you'd be like, Jesus, do you even want to eat? You know, just line it up no, for us, like didn't want to just eat to them. show they just us to that fuck them up. Yeah, yeah just to like, show hey. us, like, hey, I just killed this for you. Here you go. Yep. It's a little prize. Here you go, Dad. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, and then I'd fucking eat it wait what wait that's <laughs> politic high well another episode in the bag like us on facebook at facebook.com slash holodeck hype be sure to follow us on twitter at holodeck hype email us at holodeck hype at gmail.com follow our podcast on podbin at holodeck